We can make repeating patterns and growing patterns. Here's an example of a repeating pattern. Notice that the pattern repeats again and again. We can look at the pattern, think about what is repeating, then use this information to make predictions about other stars in the pattern. There are three colors that repeat in a predictable way. The pattern goes red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, and so on. Right away, I can see that the third, the sixth, the ninth stars are blue. Those numbers are multiples of three. I'm going to conclude that any star whose position is a multiple of three will be blue. I can use this information to predict what color any star in the pattern will be. If the positions of all the blue stars are multiples of three, then the positions of all the green stars will be one less than multiples of three. That's the second star, the fifth star, the eighth star, the eleventh star, and so on. What about the red stars? Well, their positions are all two less than multiples of three. Look, one is two less than three, and the first star is red. Four is two less than six, which is a multiple of three, and the fourth star is red. What color would the 59th star be? Well, I start by finding the closest multiple of three to 59. 60 is a multiple of three, because it's three times 20. Since 59 is one less than 60, and I know the position of any green star is always one less than a multiple of three, then the 59th star must be green. Your turn. You choose a position of a star in this same pattern and predict what its color will be. Here's a growing pattern. Each figure has four more blocks than the figure before it. So to get the next figure in the pattern, it looks as if we add four blue pattern blocks to figure three. So it looks like figure four has 17 blocks. It looks like a pattern rule is start with five blocks, then add four blocks each time. Now that's good for the first four figures, but what if I want to know the 75th figure? How many pattern blocks would be in the 75th figure? I don't have enough blue blocks to make all the figures between the fourth figure and the 75th figure. Can I write my rule in a different way so that I can use it to make predictions about any figure? Let's list the number of blocks in each figure so far. We call these numbers the terms of the pattern. The terms so far are 5, 9, 13, and 17. Since the pattern goes up by 4 each time, it might be useful to compare the terms to the multiples of 4. Are the terms multiples of 4? No. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, on up. Do the terms have something in common with the multiples of 4? Wait a sec. It looks like each term is one more than a multiple of 4. See? 17 is the fourth term, and 17 is one more than 16, which is the fourth multiple of 4. 13 is the third term, and 13 is one more than 12, which is the third multiple of 4. 9 is the second term, and 9 is one more than 8, which is the second multiple of 4. And finally, 5 is the first term, and 5 is one more than 4, which is the first multiple of 4. So I can say that a rule for the pattern is, any term is one more than that multiple of 4. So, the 75th term is one more than the 75th multiple of 4. Let's figure that out to see what that is. I'm going to use my calculator and order of operations. 
4 times 75 equals 300, and 300 plus 1 is 301. So the 75th figure in the pattern would have 301 blocks in it. If I wanted to use my blue pattern blocks, I would need 301 of them to make the 75th figure. I'm not sure I have that many blocks lying around. How many figures could you make with 100 blue pattern blocks? How could you find out?